and gentlemen, welcome to the biggest show in the world. I am the dream, and I got my boy Mad Hatter on the other end. What's up? Yo, what's going on, kid? How you feeling out there after that night last night? Oh, man, listen, as you guys know, that track right there is the official We Blew It Up the night before track. <laughs> so whenever you hear that little oboe go, that little small sound right there with Jay-Z showing what you got, you know I'm a leading off the show. We going to shout it out. All day long, kid. Yo, man, big ups to you for hitting me up with that Washington Wizards play, kid. I saw that, and after I saw the Celtics latest smackdown, I was like, oh, I got to get on this too. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I missed the Celtics play, though. I didn't I didn't get that from you, which um, I was a little bit uh, – I was a little bit ticked off. I didn't see that on the Twitter timeline when I look back. Um, I know I, I, you, you, we always usually text each other anyway. Um, I had text you the, uh, I think when you text me the Celtics, the game had already started. Oh, for real? I thought I said, I said, remember I was talking to you about it, you know, started uh, before and the line was like minus 240. I, and then, and then they played me. <laughs> they jumped it up yeah, to minus no, 550. No, I remember, but I, I think that, um, I don't know. For some reason, I, I didn't. I, I, I guess I wasn't putting two and two together. But um, guys, in case you guys missed it yesterday, um, both of us hit 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 these two really easy games. Um, now some people said that they weren't able to even get the uh, the wizard game, and I think didn't you say you got canceled on your game? Dude, I put a play in, man. Now, I don't know if it was my fault or the book's fault, but I put a play in with the Celtics. It was minus two. I want to say it was minus 245, right? So I go, I put the play in, and I could have I sworn I had a ticket number, and I was really hung over. <laughs> so I put it in, right? And I'm like, oh, good. You know, I got it in. All of a sudden, I go back, and it's like minus 500. I'm like, whoa. In my play, I could not find it. So I had to actually end up spending all kinds of money on the money line to get it to get it to pay out the same, brother. Yeah, we uh, we got up in the morning. Uh, I tweeted out. I really like the um, the Atlanta. I like the, um, the 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 Wizards, the Washington Wizards, and I really like the uh, the the Pacers as well. Um, I sent out the Wizards tweet, and then I mean I sent the Wizards tweet out early. It was minus one. When I plugged that the Wizards game um, uh, um, out of the gate, and then as the day goes on, it moved from one to ending up at being at nine and a half yesterday. So, uh, as anybody who jumped on that, you know, I hope you guys were able to cash. As that turned out to be one of the easiest plays I think I've ever given out. Oh my God, kid! Yo, they, you know what? We gotta we gotta really pay attention to those spots. You know, where they're yeah. sitting all the starters. You know, towards the end of the year. I mean, it even happened last year with the NFL with um. Remember the Patriots and Bu- Buffalo yes. Bills? Yes. Dude, I'm telling you right now, dude, those are the stats where I'm going to load the gun <laughs> and go, boom. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because those yeah. were, you know, one, and then once you pointed out the Wizards to me, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here's another one. And we got to see if there's any of those today too, bro. Yeah, yeah, you got to look at that. But I think with Hoop, they tend to rest on Sunday, though. I don't know, man. We'll take a look at it and see what we got to go on today, man. Because um, is today the last day of NBAs? No. According to what you told me last week, no. But let's we, we definitely can go. We'll, we'll, I can definitely check that right now. Yeah, please so, do, uh, man. Please do. Let's get into that. You know what? Let's re, we'll, we'll recap some of the scores first uh, and get into that as we're getting into the show anyway. Guys, I want to send you guys a big thank you for everybody that's retweeting the show and on. Tearing it up right now. Good morning to my man, Yato. Mario Martinez, Moneyline Hunter, Face Kicker as well out there. Nicholas J, Moneyline 81810. Two three eight one zero oh, three two uh, Emerson as well. You guys, thank you so much for retweeting the show uh, and giving us that love this morning. All day, hey, big ups to my man White Shark that surfaced again. Night timeline. <laughs> He's back in action, man. Big ups to him. Maybe you got you know you got trapped for a little while. And he got he escaped. <laughs> Good. That's awesome. Glad to see that. He's back. Oh <laughs> man. Yeah, man, we got all kinds of people on this morning, man. Guys, I, I apologize about my voice. I am still in recovery mode from the night I had on Saturday night. Wow. 
Dude. We got 25 retweets going already. Face Kicker, Pine Tar, Immortals out there, Vegas Girl 92661, Maddie Fresh, Clown Man Swag, Sergio Rodriguez, Marlon, Tip Talker, Total Sports Edge, John Lewis, Buddy the Dog, Marco Spagnolo, Razor Ramon, um, oh, sorry, my bad, just lost my page. <laughs> Razor Ramon, I left off at. Um, <laughs> Moneyline 81032, Yado, Peeper Press, Snoopy Bets, James Harrelson, Emerson, Doc, Spot Bet, C. Rodriguez Jr., and my man Irvin. Now, you met my man Irvin finally, I right? did. I did. Big ups to him, man. He came all the way from Jersey. I thought he was from New York, but he's actually from Jersey. He came down and, uh, you know, we had some drinks together, man. We're sitting there and, uh, well, you know what was dope is that, you know, we're sitting there. We're having a hell of a good time. There's like this bachelorette party right next to us. They're all, you know, we're all just killing it with them. And um, I, I, sh- I started showing them the live lines. And yeah. I hedged out of Portland with him. He's like, dude, I can't believe, look at this. I'm like, bro, look at it. And it's like, you know, <laughs> he never really got involved with the live lines. But after I showed him that, I gave him kind of like a little uh, history lesson on uh, live lines, kid. And uh, I think he's okay. going to get involved with it now. <laughs> we got NBA games up until Wednesday currently. Yes, that's what my man, uh, this thing we do, just told me. Okay, yeah. We got NBA games up until Wednesday. So um, we got to take a look at a few spots here, like you said. But... I think, like I said, with the NBA, you tend to catch the resting on Sunday. Um, they're probably going to let, you know, cats go um, as you, they're going to get the couple of days of rest after, you know, after, the, you know, once, once at the after Wednesday, because I don't believe it starts up again officially till I think Sunday, right? Saturday. 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 Okay. Yep. So you're going to get, if it shuts off at Wednesday, that gives you another, you know, two or three days of rest. So they're probably going to want to, eh, I don't know about the guys playing a whole game. But, you know, you're probably going to get guys playing, you know, half a game, a couple of quarters. Uh, so you got to be careful. Yeah, man. We can't be doing first halves with those kind of games. Or or you can do first halves. No, 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 no. If you got if you got the superstars playing the first half, dude, you got to – if you're going to take the other team. Oh, right. No, no, yeah, no. Right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, no, yeah. Right. Oh, no, I'm, I'm saying take the – take if you're going to play the, 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 the superstar team, like, like Cleve, you take them in the first half. That's what I was – Uh, Yeah, but that wasn't a hell true yesterday, kid. They got nah, smoked. I, I, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't – you know me. I'm not a big fan of the first half wagers anyway, but um, that – you know, some, some of you guys like doing that, so that's the only reason I was just – uh, mentioning it. All right, got you, got you. And yesterday, as far as scores are concerned, we had the Bucks over the Nets, ninety six to seventy three. We had the Celtics over the Cavaliers, one seventeen to seventy eight. We had the Pistons over the Hornets, one sixteen to seventy seven. The Nuggets over the Kings, one twenty two to one eleven. The Pacers beat the Thunder, one sixteen to one o four. We had the Wizards over the Hawks, one o eight to ninety nine. The Rockets, one twenty one to one fourteen. The Spurs, one o seven to ninety one. And the Mavericks beat the Lakers, one twenty to one. Six. Want to talk about Pacers Thunder, um, guys? I've been talking all, at, you know, after Kevin Durant went down and then Ibaka went down. I talked about you know Westbrook being the only thing that they have. You know, my man scored fifty yesterday, went twenty for forty. All right, twenty for forty, three for fourteen from for fourteen from three point land. You know, I know you guys probably are impressed with the fifty number, but you know. One guy is not going to beat five, and that's and, and that's just what it's all about. You guys should know that by now. So I, I kind of had been trying to get people to leave that Thunder team alone as it's going to be volatile towards the end of the season right now with them. Yeah, definitely. You can see Westbrook, too, getting frustrated with the rest of the guys. Yeah, no doubt. He, that's, he's, that's he screams he, at him, dude. He's like, you know, <laughs> he's, just, he's got such a bad attitude, man, when people mess up. It's just like, yo. You're going to mess up too, player. You ain't perfect. You know what I mean? But uh, he really lets his guys have it when they're, uh, you know, screwing around. Here's some interesting news for today as far as you're concerned. Westbrook got a got a got um, his 16th or I don't know what, it, what, what number it was, but whatever number it was, the technical yesterday was enough that he suspended for today's game. So he's not going to be in the lineup today against the Trailblazers. Wow. Very interesting, dude. Very interesting. So we'll take a look at it. And Portland coming off that loss. I think we might have to take a look at that game, but we'll put we'll we'll go into it a little bit. What else you got for scores? Um, we got let's see, let's go on to the uh, going to baseball. Sure, go for it. 
100 baseball games yesterday as usual. <laughs> Listen, I was involved in the longest baseball game ever yesterday, which was the Houston Astros as it went into extra innings. It seemed like the game was on forever. <laughs> Wait a minute. You were involved in the nasty Astros? Kid, damn. Yeah, I was involved. How the hell did that happen? Where did that come from? <laughs> Dude, I, I, I undercoverly have been taking little spot checks with, with baseball and trying a couple little things. Um, it, it, It's been, you know, kind of hit or miss. Not any major money. The money's still been on, you know, NBA and, the, and, the, and hockey. But uh, little, I'm spot checking a little bit of baseball, Um, which, by the way, for those that were on last night, know that we have a major baseball play right now percolating, waiting in the wings. Which one you got? That was the one that you were texting me, right? That's the one I texted you. We took the ball. We took the uh, the Nationals today against the Red Sox. Uh, that was given out to us by given out to me by Queen of Odds yesterday. Uh, I jumped all over it. So it's a nickel play. Oh wow. You better be careful, man. You better have live lines waiting to get your money out if that gets in trouble. <laughs> you better be waiting, kid. That just sounds ugly. Uh, uh. And, and, of course, and, of course, the shark surfaced after I posted the play, wanting to know how, how it got capped, wanting to know all kinds of questions. I'm like, yo, fall back. <laughs> <laughs> how do you cap that? Ha, son, you ain't. <laughs> you don't cap nothing. I told you I'm not a cap. I got it from the queen. It was her pick. <laughs> I don't even like baseball, so you know it was her pick. But anyway, as far as we get into that a little bit later, um, you do need to think about, this is something that I, I wanted you to give some thought to, though. Um, last night's game, the baseball game, in the, and I'm sure there was more into the capping recipe than this, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of tip it off the top of my head. You know, the game got ended at like quarter to 11, I believe, 11.45, quarter to 12, I'm sorry, um, ended then. You figure a minimum two hours to get to Boston. Then maybe, you know, another 30, 40 minutes to get home. All right. They had an 18 hour, 18 inning game on Friday. Okay. Saturday they played. Maybe they went out Saturday night. Then they played last night late. Get home in Boston. I'm kind of thinking that maybe they're going to be a little bit of, bit of fatigued. So why don't you get an under player, like a team total under or something? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm good with what I got in right now. Okay. I'm, 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 that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. But, uh, yeah, we did take the Nationals today, and we got my man Zimmerman on the mound. Um, as you know, I'm, uh, I, I kind of like him a bit. Uh, he's been pretty decent so far this season, which has only been one start, but he did get the win. So uh, hopefully he can get it done today. I, I'm, I'm pretty confident as I put a boatload on it. So we can't wait to get that popping in. It's a 3 o'clock start as well. So that's even less time that the Sox have to get prepared. Uh, back to the scores. We had the Rays over the Marlins 8-5. to five, The Tigers over the Indians 8-5. to five, Cardinals over the Reds 7-5. to five, Nationals beat the Phillies 4-3. to three. The Blue Jays over the Orioles 10 to 7. The Mets beat the Braves 4 to 3. We had the White Sox 6 to 2 over the Twins. We had the Brewers losing to the Pirates 10 to 2. Wow. Astros 6 to 4 in, in uh, 14 innings. We had the Royals 9 to 2 over the Angels. Mariners beat the, the Athletics 8 to 7. Dodgers beat the Diamondbacks 7 to 4. Padres over the Giants 6 to 4. Uh, Cubs beat the Rockies 6 to 5. And the Yankees eclipsed the Red Sox 14 to 4. Son, your, your voice sounds a little like mine. Did you go wild out this weekend, no, too? No, I didn't, actually. I don't know why I'm worse, <laughs> to be honest with you. Kid, I was po – I mean, I'm sure the nation could tell that I was getting drunk, dude, because I was posting all these videos at the club and screaming in the background. Kid, I had a ball, man. My bride actually didn't even drink and she because she would have to babysit me, dude. I was I was just dancing and killing it, man. And uh, she ended up pulling me out of there at, like, 3.30 in the morning. Kid, I could have stayed till like, 8 in the morning, bro, for real. <laughs> for real. I really could, dude. So <laughs> – and she's like, listen, we were by ourselves in New York. What if some guy, you know, grabbed on me or something like that? What the hell were you going to do at that point? I'm like, yeah, you probably you got a point there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Very true. But the dancers, son, oh, off the hook, kid. Off the hook. And uh, I got in trouble a little bit, you know, taking a look at them. So, uh, you know, another reason why I got pulled out of there. But it was a good, good amount of fun, kid. I got to admit, you know. That's what's up, man. I'm glad you had a good time um, because I know you are a DJ groupie. <laughs> <laughs> How's, how was the weekend in the woods, kid? So we got a lot of good things going on. Weekend in the woods was dope. Do you watch, uh, you watch the, the first season of uh, Duck Dynasty out there, kid? <laughs> <laughs> weekend in the woods was 
just told me is I, um, I was able to get major wins in. I got a beautiful hockey parlay to cash on a Saturday uh, and then did the work yesterday, which was a great day. Um, and we want to keep winning ways. Guys, we have the NHL playoffs are upon us Wednesday on Wednesday. Yes, big show, kid. Total Sports Edge and First Lady and a fake fam, kid. Can't wait for that to go through all the NHLs, kid. We're going to have series plays, dude. We're going to have futures. We're going to have the whole package, dude. Looking Before forward to it. Before they go, though, I'm going to talk about my own stuff, you know, because I don't really want to muddle the experts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to muddle the experts, but your boy got a little bit of skills, as I'm sure Total Sports Edge will definitely attest to when he comes on the show Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. I don't think we we haven't had him on since Vegas, I don't think. Oh, you haven't? I don't believe I have, so I'm looking forward to getting his ass on here and talking with him. Yo, I big, thought he came on um, two weeks I, I ago. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. No, Immortal came on. Oh, Immortal. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, good. I can't wait to get him on here. That's my boy. Um. Um. But uh, me and him been going back and forth, and uh, I always seek him out for my hockey knowledge, and uh, he will be able to attest to, to y'all that the dream <laughs> got some hockey skills as he's seen them in play firsthand. Oh, definitely, man. Hey, you know what? I actually had an up and down weekend. Dude, Friday night we swept the board, right? Saturday, okay. I Saturday I couldn't pick my nose at all. Awful, awful. And then Sunday, swept the board again, dude. So, you know what? I got all my money back, and then I went plus money on Sunday. So Yeah, because Saturday, I meant to, t you know, I I, told, I think I even t text you. I did not like your parlay Saturday. Oh, with uh, Kershaw first inning? No, the hoop one. The hoop one. I'm trying to remember who I had I there. I believe you had the Oh, Blazers Portland. Yeah, Utah. yeah, yeah. I, I was able to hedge out of that. I didn't Good. I didn't hedge all the money out just because I was mm -hmm. drinking and I wasn't thinking properly. But I I hedged a good amount, about 80% of it out. So, But, um, yeah, man, we were sitting there watching that. And Portland actually went up in the game. And I was able to get Utah at a plus 313 money line live. And, um, you know, I was just – I just didn't like the way it was going. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah. nah. I thought the Clippers were fine. But I thought Portland was were. shaky. Portland was shaky at the end. You know what I'm saying? So, yep. all good there, kid. Yo, big ups real quick to my man Immaculate. I got Sean out there, Sean Harness. I got Man vs. Spreads. I got Bada Flocka. I've got Blunt Master, Smokey, Yodo, The Cheese, Yippa82, Randy Lockhart. As I said, LV White Shark is in the building. I got the Direct Sports Solutions. Uh, let's see who else. JC, I've got this thing we do, Face Kicker, Pine Tar, Immortal, What's up, guys? Good morning. It's glad I'm glad to be back. And it was a nice little day off yesterday, kid. I could have slept till tomorrow, though. <laughs> I really, I really yeah, could have, man. man. I really could have. But you know, I'm up and live, and I'm ready to cash some tickets here, dude. So why don't we get into uh, why don't we get into the lines for today and uh, see if there's anything that tickles our fancy for the day. Hey, dude. You know what? I wanted to talk for a minute about my man Cephalosha. Oh, his broken yeah, dude. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. I know you got a lot on your brain with dude, that. Dude, that's crazy. I mean, get, come. On. That's in still can you I mean can you just imagine that I can I mean you know okay I'm gonna you know I'm, I'm gonna fall back on I'm not mad at the cops right now I'm, I'm really not you know what I mean I'm really mad at how do you put yourself as a professional athlete I mean honestly look don't get me wrong I get you on a party I get you want to have fun I get you're young I understand most of that how do you put yourself at risk Prior to going into a playoff game, oh, I know. To, to be out for the season like that, though, like what? I, to me, I mean, that's that's straight up. I mean, what, I don't unless unless the NYPD guys honestly just rolled up, just grabbed you, slammed you to the ground, <laughs> like like because they thought you was somebody else. There's like no excuse for that, really. <laughs> I don't. I mean, think about that for a minute. I mean, yeah, I, I'm gonna get, you know, I'll get with the, you know, the, the whole NYPD. You know, maybe they messed up, whatever, whatever. How do you mess up a crime scene, whatever, whatever? But the bottom line to it all is, dude, you're a professional athlete. You got the playoffs like a week away. Why would you even put yourself in like a crazy, violent type of situation? Maybe they, uh, maybe they had a little too much to drink. Dude, you know, still, man. I know, man. I know. I, mean, I, I just don't. I mean, that, there, there's no. I, I'm sorry, guys. There's no. For me, there's no rhyme or reason of it. And you know, 
I, I'm, I'm sure everybody's got both. There's both sides to every story, but I'm sure that it probably started with the cops just asking him to kick rocks. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> I got to be honest with you. It probably started with just, just that simple. And he didn't want to kick rocks. I, it, you know, we could say what we want to say about what, you know, happened afterwards. And yeah, was it too much force and whatever, whatever. But I'm sure it opened up with, please leave and go home or get out of here. I'm sure it, that's how it started. Probably right, dude. You're probably right, but it's an unfortunate situation, though. I mean, you wow, break you, you break your leg, dude. Really? I think that's I, I honestly, I just I find that in, in, I find that incredulous. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So, what do you want to get into? You want to do NBAs first? Oh, we can do NBAs. Uh, we had the Masters yesterday as well. Um, there's been some talk about it. My man, um, is it Spaith? I believe his name is Spaith. Won the Masters yesterday. I couldn't even begin to tell you, brother. Okay, well, we did have space win the Masters yesterday, um, and a couple of guys have talked about it there. Um, I see, um, you know, a few people have asked me to to speak on it. I really don't have a lot to speak on it about, other than he was really pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, I guess, he matched one of Tiger Woods's records as well. Jordan Spade did, um, and uh, it was it was it was a pretty. I, th- I think he came out of the gate like on Friday and, and kind of really never lost any steam as far as just, you know, a really good performance. So, hey, big ups to him on, on winning that. You know, I'm a I'm a I'm on the fence with, with you know, I, I, I hate saying this, but I'm a tad bit on the fence with golf. Um, I know there's a lot of skill set that goes along with golf um, in reference to other sports, though, I'm, I'm probably you know, a little bit more on the side of, you know, I, I tend to think that golf is one of the least physical, apparent, you know, obviously, yeah, of, of the sports. Yep. So, you know, I, I mean, I'm just trying to be respectful because I'm not I'm not trying to, de, you know, devalue it, sure. so to say. Sure. But as far as the athleticism involved in it, you know, I, I, I tend to question that to an extent. But uh, there is definitely a skill set. It's definitely a very challenging, you know, sport. It's just... A different type of sport for me. I'll I'll put it to you that way. Understood. I mean, I, I think I'd rather watch baseball than that, though. To be honest with you, I mean, I was trying um, to I was trying to figure it out, and I was like, I was at the bar, and they had golf on and, and baseball, and I was like, ah, the baseball is a little bit more exciting to me personally. Um, but that's my own opinion, you know. what I'm saying most of you guys might like golf better than baseball. As you know? far as watching it, I mean, watching it to me really does not inform me. I I don't mind playing. You know, I I, I kind of don't really mind playing golf. You know, I I, I like playing it. You know, I'm not that good at it, but I do enjoy playing it. I, I, it's a very relaxing sport, beautiful scenery. You know what I mean? You get in the car, you know, have a few beers. We, we always sneak the beers in with our bags and, uh, you know, <laughs> have a cigar and just enjoy it. I mean, it, enjoy the game. Uh, I, I do enjoy playing. But uh, as far as um, the athleticism of it, though, um, I do struggle with that to an extent. All day long, brother. Hey, it is so what it is, man. So let's move on. That being said, we've done that. We we hit on that. So I'm ready to get right into today. Yes, sir. Big ups to Root, Sermata, the Hitman, and Jay Snyder out there. All right, guys. So we're looking at the uh, the first game I got on a ticket here. I got the Chicago Bulls coming into the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, the Brooklyn Nets, dude. Unbelievable loss against the Bucks, kid. They lost by like 23 points, man. So now they're sitting on the outside looking in. I think think i i don't know for sure if do you have the uh can you pull up the nba um playoff Standings? stats yeah please please because i have uh n- enough to do here on my phone <laughs> yes sir yeah yeah so i'm looking at the line here i do not have a total on this yet so uh just taking a look at it i mean uh i i'd like to figure out what chicago's motivation is to uh to play hard today um, you know, we got to figure out if Rose is coming in. I'm sure he is for a little bit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't assume. I'm assuming that he wouldn't be in the entire game, but I could be wrong. Uh, Chicago is 48 and 32, two and four against the spread in the last six games. Um, and tied with the Toronto Raptors for fourth and fifth. Or, or uh, third and fourth, third and they and got fourth. the same exact records: 48 and 32. All right, so they'll probably still still play a little bit. I would think that they were going to be actively uh, going to going to try to play. Um, and the um, Brooklyn is actually tied with the Pacers, so they're going to. This game's going to be. It's going to be a game. It is. 
It's it going to be a game. It, uh, the Celtics are, you know, ahead of the, ahead of the pace, ahead of Brooklyn by uh, by one game as well. Um, so it, it's going to be a game. Technically, Brooklyn's in still, right, as of right now, but they do need to get a win. I agree. I agree. So, um, so this this going to be, and and like you said, the Bulls are tied with Toronto. Um, I it, I don't know if they care about the third or fourth spot. Um, so you gotta you know take that into consideration. Gotcha. I would think that the Bulls would want to try to get the third spot for the home court advantage, though. I because I definitely think the Bulls play better at home. They have uh, the Bulls' road record is twenty two and eighteen. You know, it's funny, man. They got this. The, the, the Bulls and the Toronto Raptors have almost the same record. I know. I you know, know. Their, their their home and road records are the same. Oh, the really? Are, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. They're twenty. Bulls are twenty six and fourteen. Raptors are twenty six and fourteen, and they're both twenty two and eighteen on the road. That's that's crazy. Yep. Yep. Taking a look at the injury report, I see uh, Kirk. Heinrich is day to day, and Doug McDermott for Chicago or day to day as well. Uh, and Brooklyn. Paul Gasol, Paul Gasol left the game, I believe, on Saturday. Oh, okay. Uh, with the, yeah, left the game, but I, it, the, the X-rays were negative. I don't know if he if 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 he came back. I just saw the story really quick uh, yesterday. I didn't really get a lot on it. So if you guys got any information on Pal as far as what happened to him, um, please hit us up and let us know. Uh, because he may not be available tonight. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, we'll take a look at it, and I'm sure that line will move around. I mean, dude, talk about live movements yesterday, huh? Oh, my God. I, know, I, I, never, <laughs> seen I never seen a move like that. Yeah, Gasol left the game. I'm looking at it right now. He left the game on uh, on on Saturday with an injury. Um, wait a minute. Hold on one second. No worries, man. No worries at all, because that, that's going to be key. That's going to be key, or, you know, especially uh, comparing him with Br- Brooke Lopez. You know what I'm saying? If he's I'm out. I'm sorry. It's not It's not Powell. It's Mark that left. Oh, God. Big difference there. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. But I thought I heard something about Powell getting hurt, too. I got to – we'll move on, and I'll get back to it. All right. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Next one we got on the ticket, we got the New Orleans Pelicans at the Minnesota Timberwolves. And the Pelicans are on the road given 10. Wow, I know. I know. Yeah, Minis- I love the Pelicans <laughs> <laughs> as they're trying to make. It, as they're trying to get in, they're on the. They're on the bubble as well, and you know the Timberwolves stink. Yes, they do. Yeah, but see what happened the other day with uh, Golden State, right? I saw what happened. With Getting Golden nineteen State. and a half points, kid, and uh, me and Crush the Bookie were going back and forth on that, saying, you know what? It just it's just too much. But it's Golden just, State had no Golden State had no reason to. I mean, exactly, you know, they, no reason to win. But 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 the Pelicans have a reason to win. Oh, of course, yeah, definitely, definitely. So so, um, the, so the Pelicans should actually bring it tonight, you know, against them. So uh, I would, uh, yeah, the Pelicans definitely need to bring it. And OKC is probably like the only thing is OKC is probably catching a loss today with no Westbrook in their lineup. So you got to be careful with that game as well as. If if OKC lose, but not a, Pelicans are st- Pelicans are going to beat the Timberwolves for sure. So you, I I definitely want to get the Pelicans involved. I don't know what you do with the point spread. Um, I don't right like now, the point I, spread. Go ahead. I don't like the point spread. That's, I know you don't. I yeah. know you don't. But I I, ugh, I really think they cover it, dude. Honestly, get it in a teaser, man. Get it down to like four, three, or four. Yeah, I, I think I, I think you could. Get, I think you're really, really safe if you could tease it and move it a little bit. But I honestly don't have a problem if you want to take it at ten. I don't. All right, all right. So um, we'll see where it goes. The under over is two hundred on that game. Because they got to be smelling blood in the water, as far as you're concerned. I mean, you're getting your chance to make it into the playoffs if they get a win here. Um, and it looks like you know the Thunder should probably lose tonight, you know, against the Trailblazers, unless I don't know Portland decides to sit all their guys. But I'm just saying, the Thunder with no with no um no Westbrook tonight, that should be a loss for them. <laughs> you would think, you would think, man. Um, and you know what, too? You know what's funny is that they don't even have a line. And I got to tell you another thing, dude. All the trends. Like from the year until now, can go out the window with these last few games. 
You know what I'm saying? When you got teams that are uh, trying to get into playoffs and teams right. resting players and stuff like that, right. all the trends are gone, guys. They're gone. Right. Unless you have teams that are coming in with max efforts and max rosters, you got pretty much throw it out the window. I mean, look at if you did statistically, I'll give you an example. You did statistically, you went Cleveland yesterday. <laughs> yeah, Cleveland was down, I want to say, 40 something points at one point in that game. You know what I mean? So that's why we took the Celtics, man. You know, Cleveland rested everybody. And same thing with Atlanta. Atlanta surprisingly came back and only lost by nine. I know. Oh, I did, I did see that, by the way. I Believe that. I did see that at the end of the game. I know. I did see that and was kind of giggling a little bit. Yeah, right, right, right. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes from there and uh, keep it moving. So, we're try- guys, what we're trying to do is we're trying to spot very, very easy matchups. Okay, like yesterday, dude. Yesterday was a joke. It really was. Right now, I'm telling you, this Pelican game, you know, as far as I'm concerned right now, to me, is one of the easier matchups on the board. You think so, huh? I do, dude. I'm t- I'm, the Pelicans are going to go ham tonight. Right. They want to get in the playoffs. <laughs> I do. Th- I do. Yes. All right. All right. So the next one we got on the ticket, we got the L.A. Lake Show coming into the Sacramento Kings. And the Kings are minus four with an under over 207 to 207 and a half. Uh, neither one of these teams have uh, any shot at making the playoffs, as you probably know. Um, Sacramento, in my opinion, is a better team. But Lake Show could be pesky, and I got to be honest with you, no opinion on this game, dude. Well, the only thing you got going on in this game is the Lake Show needs to win one of the next two games that they have in order to not have the worst, this team to have the worst record in Laker history. So they should be trying to, you know, catch a win you know just to save a little face even though they stink they should be trying to you know catch a little win just to just to save a little face in this team uh but they're gonna get another shot at the kings if they don't win tonight because they play them again on wednesday for the last game of the season oh i got so you. that's kind of an indication you might want to leave it alone taking a look at dude have you seen the la lakers um injury report it's it's big dude huh? it's like a mile long it almost looks like the t-wolves <laughs> to be honest with you um but you know lake sacramento's show, banged mess, up too dude. you know I, you can't obviously don't get involved in this game lake shows a mess kings are a mess no reason to be involved in this no. sloppy nasty messy game so uh just stay away from that i agree man i agree so the last one i got on the ticket here i know there's more games but there's no there's no spreads yet uh you got the denver nuggets at the la clippers kid the clippers are anywhere from minus 15 to minus 15 and a half damn I know, and I don't really know why, because the Clippers, they, I, I don't, I, I don't think they have a reason to win either. Uh, they're they're in that cluster of like the two through seven. I'm looking at it right seeding now. Things. Yeah, the Clippers in, in, are, in the West. They're 54 and 26. Um, they they could look to catch. Okay, they, they're one game away from San Antonio for the second spot. So if they want the second spot, see, I. I, my thing is, when you get to the three and four teams, it's like, how bad do you think they want, you know, the second spot? You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Like, do they care about it enough to go hard, or do they just say, you know what, we're in the playoffs, we're good? And you know what? That spread is just too heavy to to be, you know, to, to, to try to take that, you know, based on, you know, I, I'm not comfortable with that spread. No. No, definitely not. Definitely not. I think I'm going to fall back from that. I, I'm going to, I'm going to do a lot of homework on this Brooklyn Nets game. I, I want to get an idea what's going to happen with that. So I may just fall back and not play it at all. Don't, don't, don't mess with that Brooklyn Nets game. I, you want to? I know you want. You hate the Bulls. You want to? You want, <laughs> only reason you take it because you hate the Bulls. Don't, don't play yourself. I'm not going to try to play myself. I'm going to try all to right. get it. I'm, I'm really, really trying to be smart with my money, dude, and not, you know. Not just throw it away. I really, I'm taking this very seriously, dude. I want to, I want to build this bankroll, bro. I really okay. do. So, I, you know, what? I'm gonna just probably, I, I pr- most likely, I'll be falling back from it. But there is a chance that I may take oh. a side with it. I don't know yet, but well, yeah, I'll put it out there later if I do. You know what I mean? So we'll go from there. But those are the only spreads I have so far, bro. Well, I know right on the horizon, you guys are gonna want to maybe take a look at. You got the Bucks, Sixers. 
Um, the Bucks are probably going to try to continue to do their thing, but the Lions probably going to be atrocious. Are they in? Are they in Milwaukee? No, they're actually in Philly. Probably minus six, I guess, for Milwaukee six to seven because they're not they're not that dope. You know what I mean? So no, I know. Sec- the Sixers actually play pretty decent at home. So I know the Sixers play decent at home, but you know the Bucks are you know obviously trying to do whatever they can do, you know, to, to make, to, to, to do their thing. So you might want to give a look at that. And also you said you, you didn't have a, a, a line for the Trailblazers Thunder. I do not. I do not. So they're trying to figure we gotta out. We got to see uh, what the line on the Trailblazers Thunder is, uh, but that might be atrocious as well. Um, as I said, there's no Westbrook playing. So we got a bunch of controversy going on in the NBA with the Lions. So we'll be on Twitter later, guys. The games don't start till 7 o'clock, so we got plenty of time to figure out what's what. Uh, we'll be posting some stuff if we have anything positive for you. Um, we'll be posting some stuff, and it'll probably be right after we cash on the, on the uh, Nationals. <laughs> the Washington Nasties. Damn kid damn i i know i know oh I know. man that that you know what that that's a that's a play you said it's at three o'clock three o'clock brother i'm not trying to ruin my day man <laughs> I, I would feel i i'd be very happy if you didn't get involved in the play i i i concur man so i'll probably i'll probably go fall back <laughs> all right no problem with you falling back in fact i encourage it okay all right all right I'll, I'll call back and play cheerleader for you man all right um so uh and we'll see what uh dr dan has uh up his sleeve on that he had a monster day yesterday kid nine and one um, I, heard, I, I know is I you know I know it's been up and down a little bit, but it's the first week of baseball. But he ended up crushing it yesterday, so big ups to him on that. Uh, taking a look, I'm gonna move right over to the baseball, dude. Big ups to um a, a few people you know tore it up yesterday. I know the kid had a banging, 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 banging week. You know, his whole week was dope, you know, won a bunch of games. So you guys check him out if you're interested, Um, as he did very well with his baseball. And he's off to a very, very hot start. Um, and there are a few others out there, you know, that I know are doing pretty good in baseball. And uh, big ups to you if that's your thing and you're making it happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So starting this off, let's see. Uh, we got day games, dude. We got the Philadelphia Philadelphia Phillies at the New York Mets. Kid, big ups to um Cologne. Cologne 2-0. I know, and he's a hundred. And, I and, love and that. he hit the RBI uh, to win the game. <laughs> he hit the R- RBI that. single, dude. Yeah, I was watching it yesterday. I actually jumped involved and got the under eight and a half. Oh, speaking of that, let me just talk real quick, guys. I just uh, want to kind of give you here, here. You go about my live line situation, but no, this oh, makes no. a lot oh, of I sense. About something else. No, this right. makes a lot of sense. All right. So what I'm doing now is I'm I'm watching these games, okay? And I'm get first of all, I, you guys know I love live lines, and I'm getting involved with doing the totals in baseball. What I did yesterday with the Mets game, I watched number one how you know the two pitchers were pitching. Obviously, uh, Cologne was on point, but then I was looking at the umpire, how big his strike zone is. That cat yesterday, his strike zone was huge, dude. So I'm thinking about this. I'm like, he's going to be calling all kinds of questionable strikes. And, uh, you know, it puts it no, it puts it at a big disadvantage for the pitchers. Or, I'm sorry, for the, for, the, for the batters, for the batters, right? So, I mean, you know, there was, there was stuff like, uh, you know, above the guy's stomach he was calling and then below his knees he was calling. He, his strike zone was huge. So I'm like thinking about it. I'm like, oh, he's making it almost impossible for these guys. So, you know what? I'm going to take the under. Boom. Cashed. So, just something to think about, guys. You know what I mean? Well, it's good that the under cash on the live line because it did not cash. You're, talk- you're talking about the Met game? Yeah, the Met game. Yeah, it was the under eight under and a half live. did not cash on the regular line because the game went over. Yeah, no, I got it on the live. Uh, I posted right. a picture of that on Twitter. It was eight and a half, dude. Nice. So, yeah, it's good. It's good. So, that makes it a little bit more attractive, you know, watching the baseball game front to back. Right. You know what I mean? So uh, I was you, able to I'm do sure. that. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see that. <laughs> well, by the way, and I'm surprised you ever talked. Your boy pitched yesterday. Who was that? Sal. Oh, he did. I didn't I didn't yeah. even see that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. He pitched yesterday and got the win actually. Oh, wow. Big ups to him, man. Hey, we'll be getting involved with a little Chris Sale, I think, as All the right. year and goes on. The first, you know, the <laughs> 1 o'clock game, I surprised you didn't mention your boy's back on the mound again for the Phillies. Oh, all right. We'll, we'll go into that, dude. We'll see where it, what happens. But uh, we got Harang. Yeah, you got Harang <clears> going for the field. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. You're doing it on your phone. That's why you're not seeing it. Yeah, Harang's going against <clears throat> DeGrom today. Uh, and you guys may be interested in getting involved in that under as both pitchers have been pretty decent so far in their, you know, their starts this season. Um, and apparently, you know, I guess 
Um, Harangue is pretty decent against the Mets. I haven't as seen... As... <laughs> Doc just put, posted a funny photo of uh, Cologne. <laughs> um, you know what? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at this a little bit further and determine if I'm going to play it or not. You know what I mean? These, these early games, man, when I'm trying to work and stuff like that, I, I like to be able to watch the game front to back while I'm betting it just in case I either got to get my money out or I do something else. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So it's it's, it's going to be a little tough. It's going to be a little well, tough. Well, we got Harang on the mound for the Phillies, and we got DeGrom going for the Mets today. Um, if you guys are, are interested in at all in this game, uh, DeGrom, you know, coming off of a great stellar season last year and hoping to get back to his winning ways. Got a little roughed up in his uh, in his first start, but uh, maybe he pulls it back. You know, he's at home uh, today uh, against the Phillies, so, you know, maybe he gets it done today. Maybe it looks like it should be a pretty low score- scoring affair. You got an over and under number of seven, so uh, you guys might be want get, to get involved in that. Big ups to my man, Guy Shea out there. RT is out there. What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? All right, so uh, taking a look at this, what the next line is. Well, that under over is seven, like you said. If you were to get the under, it's actually minus 122 juice. So they're, they're kind of feeling, I think a lot of money is probably going to end up coming in on the under there. Guys, I just got to say this because you mentioned the 122 juice. I just have to say this one more time. <laughs> <laughs> For you guys that would rather, okay, take the underdog because they're plus so much juice than the lay the money and take the favorite. I just, you you might really need to rethink that strategy. I know some guys that just, you know, when, when I hear, you know, I never play, uh, I, I'll never play above like 200 juice. That to me has a small issue in it because you're more worried about the juice than you're worried about the win okay I, listen i i know a lot of guys don't agree with me on this i, I hear you and i i understand your stance but i'm just saying you might want to take a look at my stance as well a bunch of guys chase them dogs and would rather take a shot at the dog you know, plus the plus the money and lose than to lay the money and take the damn favorite and win. To me, it makes no sense. Yeah, man, <clears throat> definitely, dude. You know what was crazy yesterday? I was at the bar in New York, right? So I'm sitting there and I'm I'm rooting for the under now, right? So I'm sitting there when the Mets are, you know, when the Mets are uh, defensively doing it, you know, uh, the Braves are hitting outs and stuff like that. I'm cheering, right? So now everybody thinks I'm a big Mets fan, right? And then all of a sudden the Mets come on and they're they're striking out. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, what the hell is this cat doing? You know what I mean? I'm like, That's relax. What I said the beauty of doing a game with a hatter, he's on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at all the guys. I'm like, relax. I got the under. I got the under. They're like, oh, okay. Scratching their heads. Like, what the hell is this dude talking about? Man? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, definitely. All right, next one we got on the ticket here is uh, the Detroit Tigers at the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, D. Detroit, it's pretty much even money, minus 105, and Pittsburgh minus 101 with an under over 7. That is a 12.35 start. Hmm. Annabelle Sanchez going for the Tigers, and the Detroit Tigers have been absolutely on fire. I mentioned on, I believe, Friday that I would keep riding the Tigers um, till they lose. I'm, I jumped on them, you know, and, and, and I hit them yesterday as well, um, but for, like, no money. Um... As a matter of fact, I lost more money because I lost the damn the under in that Met game. Um, but those these are just small, just you know me just playing around plays. But the Detroit Tigers, I'm telling you, they're on fire. They usually go off to a you know get off to a good start as they did last season. Also, the Kansas City Royals, a couple teams you guys might want to jump on and start riding. You know a little bit consistently right now. Um, Detroit's got Annabelle Sanchez on the mound today. They're going against the Pirates. We have Cole on the mound as well. Um, the Pirates are two and four. Uh, Detroit's off to the total start at 6-0, and oh, so you might be interested in getting involved in that. I'm taking a look at it there. Okay. B- hey, big uh, happy birthday to my mother. It's her birthday today. I got to call her after the show. Oh, happy birthday. All right, definitely. Uh, not, not that she would ever listen to a sports gambling <laughs> show, but, I, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to tell her that. I told, told her to the millions and millions of our fans out there. All right, so the next one we got on the ticket is the one that you love. You got the Washington Nasties at the Boston Red Sox. Sox are minus 114. You're getting plus money on this, dude, plus 106. <laughs> I Under know, over so I eight. Think, I would think guys would be would love it as I'm plus money. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys love being plus money. 
Hey, man, some people are really successful with it. I mean, you got a losing record overall, but you're plus money, so hey. <laughs> hey, you know, I I, I hear you. <laughs> it's definitely good, definitely good. So, uh, Hey, you got Zimmerman on the mound for the Nationals, um, and he is 1-0 uh, in his in his first start he won already this season uh we do know the national lineup is a bit dusty but as as my man scott weaver was pointing out to me last night but i gotta tell you the yankee lineup isn't that impressive and they put up 14 against the red sox yesterday so um i believe the nationals got a great chance at this uh the red sox are coming in they got my man porcello on the mound uh and he had lost his first start as well so uh, we got a few things in our favor. The game is at 3.05 p.m. Red Sox didn't get a whole lot of time to get rest in. Um, so uh, may maybe they're trying to, you know, grab. Hopefully their kids are waking them up right now, telling them to make me some cereal and get me on the bus or whatever you may have you. And uh, they come into the game extremely fatigued and get blown out. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's what you're looking for, man. And uh, I told you about the Stanks last night, kid. Yes, you did. Hatter did like the Yankees last night. Um and, you know, I did. I, I didn't like the Yankees. I, I didn't like the game at all. But I didn't think the Yankees were going to win. I thought Boston would win. Um, I stayed away from last night's game. Um, but I did feel like the Yankees couldn't play any worse than they had played Saturday. Yeah. Yep. Um. So after a, a you know a, a bad bad a game like that, you would expect a team to want to bounce back. And uh, there's still a lot of pride in New York. Um, so uh, I mean, they got off to that great first inning. So I think that was a big help for them. <clears throat> Definitely, but you know what? I can't. I can't take credit for that because I did not post that on my Twitter, nor did I do it on my uh, on my documentation side with Capper Tech. Kid, I did not do it, so can't take credit for it, man. I got to keep it moving from there and go from there. So uh, next one we got on a ticket. What'd you say? I steal your plays and put them on there. Oh yeah, that's what Cap. Um, You're Hunter such an idiot. Tech, if you look at him, his, his stats are all looks like he's on a roller. Looks like a roller coaster ride there, and all of his losses are his own plays. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. You're an idiot. Kid. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. K Sizzle Royals at the Minnesota Twins. Uh, K Sizzle minus 127 with an under over of eight and a half. You can get the Twins plus 123. <sighs> Who you got pitching? You got my boy Duffy on the mound. Royals who got a bit roughed up in his uh in his in his start. Even though the Royals did win, as they are six and zero oh, and absolutely on fire. Uh, you're going up against May for the Twins. You know, like I said, some things you got to just keep riding until it's hot. Right now, the Royals are in a really good place, and the Twins are in a really bad place. And uh, you know, I'm really liking as a as a as a money line parlay. I really like putting the Twins and the Tigers together and just you know trying to ride that horse right there. But uh, you guys got to do what you like. Uh, but that looks very appetizing to me. Uh, Dog is telling me that the Sox bats are batting point three six nine against Zimmerman. Hmm. Hope hope that doesn't hold true today for you, brother. How I, I bet they were batting even higher than that yesterday against the Yankees. Probably against Tanaka. I bet you they were even higher than that. Yep. Most. <laughs> you know. And, and Doc, I think that stat on Zimmerman that's based on last year. No. Uh, yeah, has to be. Has to be, yep. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Made a few changes since last year, I think. So let's, you know, green salt, green salt. <laughs> Yo, people are, uh, <laughs> my boy Sean is saying, good good capping on with the umps. Dude, I'm not a handicapper playboy, but I appreciate that. Uh, it's just a little something I found, you know what I mean? And if, uh, I, know. if I love it called common sense handicapping. <laughs> <laughs> That's not common sense. I think that's pretty stellar on well, my point, common sense son. Watch the game and could tell that the ref was calling the game tight. That you think you think you had to have a special eye to spot that? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how dope you are. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I keep forgetting my boy is God's gift to gambling. You know what I'm hey, saying? Had you turned on the volume, the announcers probably were telling you that while the game was going on. By the way, I'm stellar, kid. I'm stellar with that. Put it and, that and, this and, way. And you know, last year we did make fun of a couple people who were capping the, the umpires. Well, that no, because they were capping them before the game even started. 
You know what I mean? And okay. saying, oh, the under's gone over with this guy. Or the under's gone under with him uh, X amount of times. And boom, there was like 17 runs. You know what I mean? So, yeah, no, I, well, no, you got to get, get a look at the flow of the, the game. The ones that we made fun of were games that ended up getting smoked. But I would have guessed, though, now you'd have to say, though, I could understand going with that. You said this dude up the game like that. So wouldn't you expect him to, 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 you know, to, have to do the same in the next start? Got to watch and see what how the game, you know, the flow of the game is going. You got to watch like the first two or three innings, you know, right? right. And then uh, and see how it lands. So um, that's what you I'm on, dude. And I, on I can't wait to get involved with some more of that stuff. So uh, thanks a lot, Sean. I appreciate that. Uh, next one we got the Milwaukee Brew Crew, the Dream's favorite team, playing at the St. Louis Cardinals and the Brew Crew plus one sixty five, dude. Uh, the Cardinals minus 163 with an under over seven. St. Louis must have a pretty stellar pitcher on the mound. Who they got? Adam Wainwright. That's why. That's why. Okay. <laughs> got Wainwright on the mound. He's going against Garza for the Brewers. Uh, Garza got roughed up in his last start. He's 0-1 and he's pushing an ERA right now of 720, which is heavy. Uh, but it's only one start, so it's you know take that with a grain of salt as well. Um, I believe that this is the Cardinals' home opener, so uh, that's probably why they are heavily favored. And I would not wager against the Cardinals in their home opener. <laughs> Clown man swag said, uh, looking up, looking up the info on um- umps is capping. So, son, you don't want you don't want us to call ourselves handicappers. No, I think that hurt a lot of feelings. I, 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 I don't want to be a handicapper anyway, because then I would have to limit myself to only being fifty-five percent over the long haul. Oh. <laughs> Oh, funny stuff, man. That, that's funny. All right. <laughs> oh. I'm that 55% is not acceptable for me. So I'm good with being a capper. Leave that to the pros. <laughs> Oh, we're going to the next one here. We got the Colorado Rockies at the San Francisco Giants. And the Giants are minus 119, under, over, seven and a half. Who we got pitching there, brother? We've got Butler for the Rockies going against Heston for the Giants. I believe this is a lot of these teams. Some of these teams are getting their home openers here as well, as are the Red Sox. I am aware Um, they're getting home openers. So, uh, you know, this is the first time they got back at home. So guys are going to be maybe a little bit more amped for today's game than usual. Yes, I know that also holds true for the Red Sox as well. Um, But uh, you got the Giants at home. You got Hester on the mound. Uh, He got a win in his first start. Giants are three and four. Uh, The Rockies, you know, have seemed to be able to put some bats together. They're four and two um, and are off to a pretty decent start for them. My man Butler's sporting a 3.18 ERA, but that's based on only one start. So you got to take that information with a grain of salt as well. All right. All right. So I'm taking a look at that. I have no opinion on it, guys. And I'm sorry that you know, my opinions aren't all there all the time for each game on these because, dude, I, I don't want to I don't want to give out. I don't want to influence one person to take a certain team if I'm not really feeling it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So do, um, yeah. I'm just kind of, you know, we're just kind of giving you the information right now. If you're, you know, driving down the road in your car, you're at work, you know, whatever. And I hope you're having a good time listening to the biggest show in the world as well. So, you know, the San Francisco Giants, I don't have opinion, but I am just going to say the San Francisco Giants are defending champions. Um, they're having their home opener today uh you know i know that the rockies have got off to a somewhat of a you know a positive start but you know last year the rockies were a bit shaky um i know that their lineup is you know apparently you know better uh this is a actually it's a it's not a great time for either one of the teams because it's four o'clock and giants don't usually play at this time either but uh you know, I, I kind of would lean that the Giants would find a way to win today's game, but that's just right off the top of my head. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So um, let's see where it goes, man. Let's go to the next one here and see what we got. We have the Tampa Biscuit Rays coming into the Toronto Blue Jays. And we got the under over is uh, eight to eight and a half with the juice is uh, Toronto minus 135. You can get Tampa Biscuit plus 128. Uh, How are these teams looking and who's pitching, brother? All right. We got the Devil Rays coming in near three and three um, with with, with Aura Dizzy on the mound. And we've got the Blue Jays four and two with Dickey on the mound. Dickey's sporting a 1.42 ERA. He had one start. He didn't get the decision there. um, So he's uh, right now currently undefeated. And uh, (laughs) but but no wins as well. Um, Interesting (laughs) game. Two interesting teams who 
kind of remind me a little bit of each other, these two teams. So I don't know where you go with this game. I have no opinion on this game. So uh, go with the flow. <laughs> Go with the flow. That's it, brother. That's it. As these as these teams and these pitchers, you know, get a few few wins or losses under their belt, whatever, we'll be able to do more detailed breakdowns of these. Um, I know Dan is really good at it. Um, you know, he breaks down each one. You know, take a look at his stuff on the website and, uh, you know, go from there if you want further breakdown. But we are looking into these and seeing where they land. Uh, we hey, got still th- a lot of the information, you know, on these guys. You know, I, guys, say what you want. I know you guys like the numbers and the stats. But you're still basing a lot of your information off of last year's numbers. Um, a lot of things have gone on differently. You know, some players have, are not there anymore. Other players, are, you know, you got new players in the lineup. You got guys that are a year older. You got, you know, all kinds of different stuff going on that can skew the numbers a little bit. So, obviously, like I said, take it all with a grain of salt because it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So, uh, Dream, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the um the the games because because hold on one second not to cut you off if i had told you the san francisco 49ers were not going to make the playoffs this season at the beginning of the year which i probably did uh most of you would have been saying to me i don't know what i'm talking about so i mean that that would be you know if you base it off of last year's stats yes yes you are correct you are correct there so i'm going to go through these just kind of um let everybody know what the pitchers are and then we'll decide if there if we have a lean on the game We'll say it. If not, we'll keep it moving. Just because okay. uh, we're already at 10 o'clock and uh, Daddy's got oh, wow. a lot of work to do here okay. today. All right, so uh, we've got the New York Stanks at the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore minus 113 with an under over of 7.5. Who you got pitching? We got Pineda going against Chen. Okay. All right. Um, For some reason, I'm kind of feeling Baltimore there. I don't know why, but I'm not plugging that. It's just kind of an initial look. In an initial well, the Yanks been dusty in how they came out so far. I haven't really been impressed with them. Even last night, I mean, it kind of was an aberration, I think, for me. Um, who knows what's going to happen today? Orioles are pretty good at home. Um, Chin's, Chin got roughed up in his in his first start, but uh, he didn't get the dis- he, he got no you know no decision as well. They got him out of there. He's sporting a 6.23 ERA, and my man Pineda's sporting a 3.0 ERA. And the Baltimore's would like nothing more to beat the Yankees as every other team wants to do. So that's why you might be feeling Baltimore as I would kind of lean up to feeling them a little bit as well. All right, Miami Marlins at the Atlanta Braves. Uh, Atlanta minus 113, under over of 7. What That's Latos against Miller. There, um, the Braves have been, you know, pretty pretty good, uh, and they're, you know, at the beginning of the season, and you know, they continue to be there at home. <laughs> team has not looked too sharp. My man Lato's got banged up big. His ERA is 94.50. Whoa. <laughs> what was that, 94? 94.50 they got it at. Uh, oh. He is... He got a one loss under his belt, so uh, I guess it's telling me to telling you to go ham on the Braves. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. All right, next one we got on the ticket. We got the LA Angels at the Texas Rangers. He must have gave up like five runs in like no while. I know. I know. He must have got a smoke show. <laughs> like, right. like, my man, like my man last night, Clay Buckholz, dropped seven in the first inning. Dropped a touchdown in the first inning. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, you got Schumacher for the uh, Angels going against D. Wilder for the uh, Rangers. And um, the... the D. Wilder is 0-1 with a 10.38 start, uh, 10.38 ERA under his belt. Schumacher is 1-0 and 4.50 ERA uh, in, on his side, and I've got no opinion on that game. Next one I got out of ticket, Cincinnati Reds at the Chicago Cubs. Uh, the Cubs are minus 131, as you know, because of the wind changes out in, uh, out in their stadium there. They don't post the totals until, like, right before the games. Okay, because Wrigley Field, I mean, it gets really windy out there, so that's why they do that. Um, which is crazy. It, it's a, it's almost like it's it's funny how these ballparks affect the total so much. Like Coors Field with Colorado, right? You know what I mean? Being uh, the mile, you know, in the Mile High City over there, like the balls are flying out of the park. Where here, it could be all over the place because of the wind. So uh, next one, I got Oakland. Oh, who do you got pitching there? There's Leak against Lester. Uh, Leak's going for the Reds, and you got Lester going for the uh, the Cubs. Lester's 0-1 with a 6.23 ERA in his first start, Ooh. and Leak is undefeated and with no wins either. Um, and, and he's got a 4.76 ERA. Uh, 
don't really like this game, so good luck. You don't think Lester comes out? I don't know. I, I, I the Cubs man, their bats. Uh, I don't know. I. I don't know. I have no. I, I got no opinion here. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay. All right. Uh, next one I got on the ticket. We got Oakland at Houston. Uh, Oakland is minus one eleven. They're slightly favored with an under over of seven and a half. You got my man Scott Casimir on the mound. He is one and zero with a zero point zero zero ERA. So he got off to a good start, and he's going up against Fieldman, uh, who's zero and one with the one point three five ERA, which isn't too shabby either in his first start. Uh, but he did catch the loss. Um, you know, Oakland a little bit roughed up um, at home uh, against Seattle. Um, so they might be, you know, they might be a little bit hungry. Uh, it might come out a little bit strong. I don't really know how to gauge this Astro team. Other than I know they played a lot of innings yesterday, um, but you know they've had plenty of time to overcome it. And tonight's start is at you know eight ten p.m. So don't really have an opinion, but maybe slight lean on the on the Athletics because I love Oakland. You know that. Yeah, that's your team, man. That's your team. All right, uh, next one I got Arizona Diamondbacks at the San Diego Padres. Uh, the Padres are minus one forty seven. With an under over of six and a half. That's a very low total. Who do we got as far as aces on the mound? De La Rosa what, for the at Diamondbacks. He's 1-0 and with a 10.12 ERA. And we got uh, Kashner for the Padres. He is 0-1 with a 9.00 ERA. Um, and the Padres are 4-3. and The Diamondbacks are 3-3 three and three traveling to San Diego. No opinion on this game, gang. Dude, the other day I had the no-score first inning with Arizona and the Dodgers, right? Yep. Ar- Arizona had... A rookie on the mound. Yep. And the Dodgers had Kershaw. Uh, there, so I would think, all right, if it's going to get blown up, I'm going to get blown up with the rookie letting up the run, right? <laughs> I get through the top of the first. The rookie lets up no runs. So I'm like, oh, now I just got Kershaw. I'm good, right? Boom. Kershaw One run. Up. Oh, man, made me so heated, dude. I, I was walking down the street in New York City. I just jumped like five feet in the air and slammed my feet down. I'm like, oh! <laughs> Speaking of which, gang, no score first inning. Might want to look at that in the Met game today. Um, You got DeGrom against the Rang Mets Phillies. Um, No score first inning might be a pretty... Ah, uh, might be on that. I think yeah. I'm going to take that. Yeah, take a look at it. You can actually parlay that with uh, regular games and stuff. Yep, I think I'm going to take that. Just take it straight. Light, 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 light. All right. right. <laughs> Seattle Mariners at the L.A. Dodgers is the last game as far as the MLBs is concerned. Uh, L.A. Dodgers minus 120. Under, over is 7. What you got there? That's Paxton against McCarthy. Paxton for the Seattle Mariners is 0-1 with the 3.00 ERA. We got McCarthy, who was 1-0 with a 7.20 ERA. Uh, the Dodgers, 3-3, three and 2-1 three, uh, at home. The Mariners, 3-3, three and 2-1 three and away. Listen, the Mariners have been kind of, you know, kind of impressive so far in a little bit of, 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 of games that I've seen them in. Um, they were very tough against Oak Tree. Uh, they're coming into L.A. The Dodgers seem to be... Kind of in the same place that they were last year, like good but not really. I don't, you know, I don't know what you make of them. I, I, I have a, str- a hard time gauging this Dodger team. I just, I, I don't really, I understand them, but I don't, you know. So uh, yeah, they're tough. Tough. No to real out. opinion here. Uh, good luck if you guys want to get involved in that. You know, I, you got to go with whatever you know you already know personally about it. Yes, sir. Big ups to my man, MMA Rainmaker. I got Alex Washington, who is feeling the Padres today. I got my man, C2, out there. Marlins out there. Uh, let's see. No Request is out there. Frankie Fingers is out there. What's going on, player? Uh, Vegas Vank. Dr. Dan just posted his MLB plays. Papa Smurf is out there. Yoda, wow. I love that little gift that you sent me. Thank you. And uh, we're going from there, kids. So that pretty much does it for us, man. There's no NHLs. NHL's True. done. Okay, so uh we're gonna we're just gonna keep it moving. So what you got uh so what you got up your sleeve, kid? You got that big MLB play that you're on. With the right. uh with the Washington nasties and um let's see what uh, as far as the uh as far as the NBA, what are you feeling? Anything? I gotta finish it up, but you know I like I like the um I like whoever is playing the Pelicans. You like the Pelicans? I like the Pelicans, right? Hold on, let me go to the NBA real quick because I forgot now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Sorry, as we just did baseball, so I'm my my blood's churning. I can't wait for that. Um, we, I like the Pelicans <laughs> today. I've got an eye on the Trailblazers as you're playing a a, a Westbrookless Thunder, and um, 
that's pretty much going to do it for me in basketball, I think. I don't want to go. I, I want to maybe say the Mavericks, but I'm not going to go against the Mavericks against that Jazz team at home because the Jazz are pesty. Um, and you might want to take a small look at. No, I, won't, I wouldn't mess with that Clipper Nugget game. Yeah, it looks like it's going. Pelicans looks like the Huckleberry for me. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, guys, you know what? I've, I've basically, you know, just got my first you look. Know, hold on. Not to cut you off, but, you, you know, love we didn't me mention off, though. the Hawks are playing the Knicks. And even the Hawks bench could no, beat the Knicks. Son, stay away from that. Yeah, no, probably will. I mean, the line will be heavy. But if it's not too, too heavy. I don't know, man. You, you saw the Knicks beat Orlando the other night. <laughs> you saw that. Orlando, Orlando stinks. I know. Orlando <laughs> stinks. They were given like eight or nine points or something like that and lost on the court. So, um, Knicks are trying to. I mean, they're trying to get some wins here, but I, I don't know. I, I'm going. Is it in New York? No, it's in Atlanta. Ooh. In Atlanta, like you said, they were able to pull last night's game into within nine, you know, with the bench. So maybe the bench got a feel for how to play. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they feel it. <laughs> go, go out and beat the Knicks tonight. Let's take a look at the spread on that. We might have some fun with it, but I'll, I'll get back to you guys later. Right now, I'm going to concentrate on the Met. Phillies, no score first inning. I'm all over that play. I'm obviously all over the Queen of Odds' play. And by the way, we may have a special guest tomorrow that I'm working on for you guys. So I will let you know tomorrow in the AM um, that I'm working on a guest for tomorrow's show. Uh, and we'll see what happens, okay? All right. Sounds good, kid. Sounds good. So what do you got to shout out before we uh, close out of here, Playboy? That being said, we are out of here. I want to send a big shout out to my man, Urban Winning Picks, Cash Action, Bet Scott Weaver, Vegas Girl, 92661, Clown Man, Swag Joey, Jonesy, TNT Picks, Rainmaker 512, Randy Lockhart, Beyond the Bets, Total Sports Edge, Deeks Picks, Root, First Lady of the Fake Fam, Almighty Kev, Rick Lopez, Lucky Luciano, Ben Diaz, OJFB, Phillies Picks, <laughs> 82 J Gods, Tony Enab, Betting the Dream, World Sports Picks, Jonesy, CZ VIP 2015, The Capper Zone, Papa Smurf, G Rose, and so many more. Guys, I am the dream. Always remember who you with and make the most of each and every day because you cannot get this time back. And don't let the Nationals win because I will not shut up for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not, man. Definitely not. Guys, we are Sports Betters TV and SportsBettersTV.com. We are available on all the social media outlets, all 179 countries that have seen us, that support us. We love you to death, and we will go from there. As far as my plays, i got to dissect some of this stuff, do some homework, and uh, I'm going to be very careful on what I'm playing, guys. So I'll put it out there later on and see what happens. But we are Sports Betters TV, the biggest show in the world. We love you to death. Go out there. Go easy. But get that money. Take care. Peace.